Hello, thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to Fridays on FB. Um, today's topic we are gonna re experience Fashion Week of Rochester. So, as most of you know, this is a 50 minute live stream where we talk about happenings at Munsonware. If you are new to the stream, my name is Nita Brown. I'm the owner and designer for Munsonware. We are a custom made and a ready to wear um, clothing outfit. We use vibrant colors and bold fabrics from Ghana. And you can see behind me on my fabric wall at the boutique, all the fabrics are manufactured in Ghana and so is the production. So the sewing is done in Ghana. Um, what do we do? We do gorgeous, beautiful outfits that we want our customers to mash up with. And what do I mean by mashup? I'm actually wearing a mashup. I have a Mansa wear skirt on, so I'm gonna get up so you can get a good sense of it. So it's a tri-fabric skirt and I have it on and I am wearing it with ankle boots and a top that I picked up from my um, my closet. That's the whole concept of mashup. But before we start the show, I have a disclaimer. I'm trying to, I'm still learning how to integrate a video into my live stream. So they're gonna be a workaround, but bear with me um, as we do the workaround, but it's gonna be worth it. Hi, Lizzo. Thanks for watching and welcome. So what we are gonna do is I am going to um, just share with you a big commentary as the, uh, when we play the video. So if you are not there, you get to see excerpts of the video, clips of the video, and you hear my commentary. If you were there, you get to hear it again. So I wanna say welcome. But before we start, I wanna give a great shout out to all the fans that showed up um, during Fashion Week. I know um, Julia and Grace were there on Thursday. Both of them were wearing their Munza wear outfit. Grace had on the Sitima dress in an olive color, and they sent me pictures, I'm grateful. Julia had on um, the square neckline gathered um, dress. Um, Dominique, Jennifer, Jackie, Rajesh, and Christy all showed up on Saturday. Thank you. Uh, Christy, the jacket that you had on the print, you're going to see it in a peekaboo blouse on the runway. But I've been uh, posting most of these pictures on all my social accounts. So before we, um, that's it. So I'm gonna tell you about the lineup, what we did. On Thursday night, we had a mashup. Of course, it was all Munster wear tops or blouses and with jeans. So all the models had jeans on. It could be, hi, Darner Hollers, how are you? Thank you. Um, it was, um, it could be blue jeans, um, light blue, dark blue, but if we had jeans. Normally our blouses retail for 112 50 and when you see the lineup, you see how uh, ver versatile it is. Um, we had two of the models who had on head wraps, and they also had blue jeans. And then the guys had on sarong, and just as an FYI. In Ghana, men traditionally don't wear sarong that way. They wear six yards of fabric, and they normally wear it in a Roman toga style. Hi, Cecilia. Thank you. They normally wear it in a Roman toga style. So... Um, what you see, we had to improvise because I only two yards of the shop, so that's what we did. The wraps that you see the models wearing, we sell them at the shop, and they are for thirty-five dollars. So that was the um, Wednesday show. On um, Saturday, we had we featured a, 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 a variety of things. So we introduced a fugu trench coat style jacket. And that um, is made from Kente. We had it with a hoodie and without a hoodie. And they retail um, without a hoodie is 400 and with a hoodie is 450. And I know it's pretty steep, but if you had watched our previous, um, if you have watched our previous Facebook um, uh, live shows, we had done a whole series on Kente. And Kente is hand woven and it takes a professional weaver two weeks to weave six yards of the fabric. And so that then has to be made into a jacket. So that's what make K 
kente very um, expensive. Um, we had we have three of those. We had it in a red and navy, and then a white like a cream with navy um, trench coat jacket. We also featured two non cotton outfits. One was a gray lace with peach. It was made into a dress. It's a sweetheart neckline dress. It had a keyhole back. And the other was a sleeveless midi dress with um, sash and it was purple. Um, um, our dresses go for one, um, 165 to 185. We have our mid calf long sleeve dress called Deborah. Hi, Scott. Thank you for showing up and watching me. Um, so we have that, and then we have our three quarter sleeve ample A line dress. We also featured two skirt ensembles, the classic skirt ensembles in the show. So I'm not gonna switch, so bear with me. I did warn you that it's gonna be a little bit of a trick because I am trying to um, get my feed, get my video stream onto it without being integrated. So bear with me. So you're gonna see the first show you're gonna see will be the third, the one on October 13th, the Wednesday one. So bear with me as well. In the meantime, you can watch the fabrics of the shop. So here you go. I think I'm ready. So I am going to do, I'm gonna switch over so we can watch the fashion show. So here you go is the show on Thursday night. Wednesday night, I beg your pardon, it's a show Wednesday. So you see Gloria and myself, I work with Gloria He's my partner in crime here at the shop. If you notice, this is the lineup of the models and the sarong I was telling you about. See all the girls, all the models had on. And man's wear blouse, the mask shop with the head pin. So the, here they come again, it's the one print. So it's the same print is made into a skirt, pants, and a blouse. Here's again the lineup of the Thursday, uh, Wednesday night show. So once again, it's a head wrap. Now we're gonna move on to the Saturday show. Here is a classic skirt ensemble. This is the Ghanaian classic skirt ensemble I want about. And most of these videos were given to me by, that's, uh, by customers who sent it to me and friends. That's the Deborah long sleeve um, dress. And this goes for 185. This is 300 plus count cotton. Okay, some, Cecilia is telling me something, but I'm not getting it. Cecilia is saying I should bring them on, on. I'll repeat this video again, just to make sure. That's me wearing a classic onion and stuff. That's the gray peach dress, three quarter sleeve, A-line dress. Bring them on camera. Cecilia, I'm, I'm sorry. That's the classic Ghanaian um, skirt and top. Here again, I, I think the person who sent this video it's partial to um, the Deborah long sleeve dress. Here we go. It's a pleated hemline skirt. This is the peekaboo um, blouse that just went by. Here are the Kente Fugu jackets. The far left, it's a Kente. The one on the right, it's a peplum. Here are some more of the Kente coming down the runway. So there you have, this one has a hoodie. That's the Kente Fugu. That's one, it's very casually styled, red and navy. And here you have is the sleeveless um, satin dress with the sash that I talked about. And Gloria, who's working with her, and it's also with me now, Gloria is wearing a Mansa wear blouse. I know it was quick, we'll go through it again. Um, so this is a classic Ghanaian ensemble, the Scoxes skirt and top. A 
And here you have the Deborah um, long sleeve dress again. And coming up, here's another classic Ghanaian skirt and top. And coming up is going to be the peekaboo blouse. And in the wings will be the pleated hemline dress coming. I'm going to pan on to the pleated blouse. And here I come again in the classic. That's the lace, the peach lace, three-quarter sleeve ample airline dress. Oh, I think this is what Cecilia meant. Here you go. Here's the lineup going back again. And there is the pleated hemline skirt. Here is the peekaboo blouse. So here we have the Kente Fugu jacket, the peplum um, jacket. More of the Kente um, jackets are coming up. This one has a hoodie. The one, the red and navy Fugu, it's very casually styled. And then here you have the sleeveless. I told you we're working all the fabrics. That's satin. And what Gloria is wearing is um, cotton. So I am actually wearing a dress that belonged to my mother. So that skirt and top is at least 50 years old. It's actually one of my mom's stuff that I still wear. I will switch back to a, the 13. So here we have, that's all cotton. That's Gloria, my partner in crime at the shop. We have the same print and uh, a skirt and the pants. So I really, sorry for this, but all these videos are on all my social media pages. It's gonna also be on the event page. Here you have the models again. So I want to thank you. I know this is hopefully next time I do this live stream, I've actually perfected the technology of integrating video into your live stream. I want to thank all of you who showed up, Liz, Darnell, Cecilia, Scott. I hope this was informative and it gave you a little bit of sense of what goes on at Mansa Wear. Um, so... The videos have already been uploaded there, and we will see you next week. It's almost time. This is really short. We do 15 minutes um, every week, and maybe next week I would have perfected the technology, and I could just stream it beautifully and seamlessly in the line. Or I would have got the professional video from Fashion Week, and I could share it with you. So there we go again. So this is a peacock print, the one that just went by. And there is, there we go. And in the wing, you see the pleated hemline dress. So you're gonna see another classic Ghanaian print pass by. Ghanaian uh, skirt ensemble. Trying to see where the there we go. That's the peekaboo top I was talking to you about. Sorry for this making you dizzy. My apologies. A line ample a line dress that just went by. Here is the lineup going back. A classic Ghanaian skirt and top. The Bora long sleeve dress. There, the pleated hemline skirt. There's the peekaboo blouse again. There goes the trench coat, the trench coat, fugu coat. That's another, that's another Fugu jacket with a hoodie. This is another one styled, the Kinte jackets, and very casual. 
And here we have Gloria and uh, our model in the satin. I want to thank you once again. This has been great. Sorry for the very low, low rudimentary technology of streaming this. But thanks everyone for showing up. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye everyone.